Today, we're going to be answering one of the oldest debates, one of the most difficult questions, probably the most important question on the planet. Which one's better, the high top or the low top? What's good guys, it's your boy Baby Boy Flame back at it again with another one. Today we will be discussing and doing a comparison of the Chuck 70 high and low. So I did a video a few weeks ago titled the five shoes everyone needs in their rotation and the casual shoe was one of the shoes I mentioned. The Converse is probably the number one casual shoe you know, that's ever been sold. So today what I wanted to do was go over the difference between the high top and the low top and let you know my thoughts on which one you all should be copying. Again, this is personal preference. There's gonna be a lot of different factors that factor into this, like kind of what kind of clothing you prefer, what you're into. There's a Converse for everyone. So I would highly recommend you guys check out the shoe either way. Let's jump right into it. So today we're actually comparing the Chuck 70s, the high and the low. Um, there of course is the Converse All-Star. That's a different shoe though. The Chuck 70 is a bit more premium. It's 80 bucks. The normal Converse is 50. So there's a there's a few differences there. I'm not gonna go over all the differences. I would highly recommend just YouTubing it. You can find the differences between the two models, but this is a more beefed up Converse. Additionally, I'm not gonna go over too much of the history of the shoe. If you want that, there's a lot of good YouTube videos out there you can check out. Again, the point of this is comparing the aesthetics of the two. Which one should you be copying based on your style? You know, this is a hundred year old question. This shoe has been a part of, you know, pop culture and, you know, sneaker culture in general for the past like hundred years. Whether it's hip hop, punk rock, metal, pop culture, it, it gives the perfect look. It gives a perfect casual look and it's got so much history behind it. The two shoes that I'm comparing today, I don't have the same color, so please keep that in mind. Today we're going over the, the Chuck 70 Low. This is the Wax. Echo Maria collaboration. I mean, there's clearly a pattern on here. It's still made of canvas. Obviously this one's got a cool leopard print on it. Not new, but I'm gonna be comparing this low top to Kim Jones Chuck 70. This is in collaboration with Kim Jones, the head designer at Dior. Again, this isn't a review. This is to more so go over the basics of the high versus the low. Obviously these two shoes are a little bit different. For the most part, they're a canvas upper. They're going to have a vulcanized rubber sole. One other huge difference between the low and the high is this patch right here. That's obviously a huge, huge indicator of the Converse All-Star. You'll see a lot of knockoffs that try to mimic this and when they're high tops and they don't have that, this, that's how you know. So let's get into some differences between the two shoes. So the obvious difference between these two shoes is the height. With the high, there's a lot more ca canvas, a lot more material. It's probably gonna be a more secure shoe. Um, there's just more going on here. As far as the low, it can tend to be, you know, a li little bit more less maintenance. It's going to be lighter weight, but there is less fabric, so you're gonna be getting less of a pattern or whatever the canvas is. Besides that, these shoes are basically the same thing. It's really just one's low and one's high. They're both doubled up on canvas. They both got the, the vulcanized outsole rubber on the toe box and same late lacing mechanism either way. One thing I do want to point out is that if you were a fan of convenience, I would not recommend the high top right off the bat because you cannot get your foot into this shoe without completely undoing it, the laces and retying them every single time. With the low, you can kind of pull your shoe on, but again, it, it's probably gonna be better off if you do lace them. One note about the Converse is that you do not want to go true to size. Unless you have, you personally had a pair of Converse before and you know your size. I wear a 10 and a half in Nike, Adidas, New Balance, A6, really everything except for Converse. I wear a size 10 in Converse. So I would say size down at least the half size, but without further ado, let's jump into the actual aesthetic of the shoes. So with the high top, I feel like we're getting more of like a sandlot vibe. Like it just reminds me of like old school sports. And that really comes out when you are wearing them with shorts. So if you are someone who rocks a lot of shorts, maybe you live in a warmer climate, I actually would recommend the high top because it kind of just pops a lot more when you're rocking shorts. The issue with the high top and when you're wearing pants is that there's really no point in having this extra material. Your pants are typically gonna go right over the top of the shoe, unless you have some super skinnies on, which I did. If you wear a lot of pants and you're, you prefer wearing pants, I would definitely go with the low top actually. It's easier to get on and the, the fabric isn't gonna bunch up at all. The, the, your pants will sit on top of the shoe, kind of in the way you'd want them to. 
So as you'll see throughout this video, I threw on a lot of different fits. I tried them on with just good old gym shorts. I tried them on with a pair of khaki shorts for the white boy summer. I tried a pair of skinny jeans on, relaxed fit, or straight leg Levi's on, and then a pair of dickies on. So a lot of different aesthetics, and really there wasn't that big of a difference between shoe to shoe. With the shorts, again, there was a huge difference between the highs and the lows, because you can see the entirety of the shoe. But they both look good, in my opinion. And with the pants, again, the pants are gonna drape over the shoe if you have a high top. So I actually prefer the low with the pants. I just think it looks better on me because I do have a bit of a bigger legs i'm a bigger dude so wearing high tops with pants it kind of like scrunches me down if you're shorter i probably wouldn't recommend the high top because it can tend to make like optically it'll make you look a little bit shorter for the low top that you're not really going to get that because it is so low that's not really going to play any effect on that out of these two i'm going to have to go with the low top it's just for me convenience is key i don't want to have to untie my shoelace every time i put the shoe on i just like the low top there's a lot less going on and it's not like it's a lot less constrictive you know your ankle has full mobility this is really going to be based on preference guys i'm going to be wearing both of these shoes and i'm very excited to have both for me personally i'm gonna have to go with the low top that doesn't mean that's what you have to do i would take into account you know maybe what you're rocking a lot more if you're walking rocking shorts a lot more go with the high top that's kind of just my thoughts on this but make sure you're making your your own choices guys i would definitely check out either one Go try on a pair, see which one makes more sense to you. In the meantime, guys, I really appreciate you stopping by. Please leave a like and subscribe, guys. We're trying to run it up. Shout out to my 70 subscribers right now. We're trying to get that number up, so definitely smash like, subscribe if you can. Go watch my five sneakers you need in your rotations as well. That'll give you a little bit of an idea of kind of what I think of when it comes to sneakers, and I talk about the converse in there. It's been your boy, baby boy, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace. If you're still here, I'm not really sure why you haven't hit subscribe or hit that video. Feel free or don't. Just we can just keep chilling if you want. Cool with that too.